Hi guys, it's your girl Sophia. This is my phone. If you can see from the title, it's a Huawei phone. This is the Huawei Nova 7i. And this is the case. Let's just get right into it because I don't think you guys want to see me ramble too much about the intro. So this is my way. I have to touch it like this because if I touch it with this thumb, this is my right thumb. And if I touch it, I'll open it. So this is my lock screen. This is my lock screen. Ah, by the way, this phone, the Huawei Nova 7i, you can open it in three ways. Like, it's actually better if I just screen record it wait there's a way <laughs> i can't screen record it but it's locked pa. so again it's locked but if i put my face there and just swipe it's already open and also i can use my fingerprint so fast diba i like that about this phone i also have a passcode which i don't really use because it's easy to just use my fingerprint let's start this is my home screen as you can see this is my home screen i don't know if i should put it like this so you can see it better or should I just put it here anyway i'll just edit it this is my home screen in the top part there's this this is a widget it has my location date day time and the weather right now here we have a widget this is petal search this one the one that says federal judge blocks and a move like bago siya tesla moving headquarter but so this is what i use to download my apps i just search an app just like this facebook okay okay wait <laughs> actually if the app is already downloaded i can search here and then i will be directed to the app but if it's not this is what i use to download and actually search search no i don't really use this to search i use a browser a google browser which we will be talking about later i actually have three pages this is the first page for the things i don't really use that much second page for the things i use too much third page is for my calendar and that's it i have three pages sometimes i put another page so i can see my home screen just my home screen it's so clean i like it Ah, I didn't mention this home screen. This home screen, I got it. Okay, let's go back. This home screen pala, I didn't mention. This is from Pinterest. This is so aesthetic. I don't like using the word aesthetic on so many things. But this is one of the things that I would really describe as aesthetic. Because it looks so nice. Like, look at this. I like minimal stuff that has pastel colors. Just like this one. Just like this one. <laughs> so, I had. Let's go back to our home page. This is the news page. This is the first page where you want to search stuff. But the petal search is different. It's like the Google of Huawei. Now, let's go to the first folder. Well, actually, you will see here four folders. One, two, three, four. And each has a emoji for its name. It actually represents what the folder is for. Like this one. I put like two people here because this folder is mainly for communication. Except for this one. Well, my gallery is probably the most used app. Then we have my phone, which is also the same as this one. But this one is a shortcut. This is also a shortcut because these two are the most important part of my phone because this is the main reason why I have a phone anyway. This phone, so when I open this phone, it's actually a shortcut. So I have a lot of contacts there. You don't have to see that. But when I open this, it will automatically close using this. It's just the same. And then my caught messaging, Google. This one, this isn't an app. This is a web browser. It's a shortcut. Oh, I actually don't have Wi-Fi right now. But yeah. Then we have contacts. Mirror. Mirror, I haven't grabbed your quality. I'm kind of I want to share the story about the LCD of my phone. Nah. I actually bought this phone in October 2020, so it's almost a year now because I remember I bought this exactly October 23, 2020, and it's October 8th right now. So, a December, I bought the LCD, niya, so pinalitan. So, ayan. Oh, guys, you can see my setup. Hi, this is you guys. <laughs> And then we have Shazam, which is very useful actually. I forgot where I knew this from, Shazam, but if you pin that, <laughs> it will automatically listen to the song that you don't know the title of. Next, we have Calendar Vmos Pro. Vmos Pro is actually very useful. This is an app that the staff in Huawei downloaded in my phone because I need a specific app, which is YouTube Studio, which is powered by Google. And wala siya dito kasi nga wala tong Google services. This one. This is for YouTube creators to see our analytics and as you can see right now, I'm doing YouTube because you're probably watching me. Yes, you're watching me since you can hear me. Ito nga lang, medyo mabagal siya mag-load. But there, this is what my Vimos Pro is. Next, we have health, phone, messaging, video aptoid. Aptoid, this actually is a downloader for Huawei. It's like pedal search, but this one you can't search here. You just download stuff. But I don't really use this because I use pedal search. Then we have weather settings, Kalim. Kalim, but this is an app that my little sister downloaded. 
My little sister uses my phone a lot because not really that much. She has her own iPad, kasi, but in her iPad, it has only limited storage. So she uses my phone to download stuff that she can download in her iPad. <laughs> Next, let's just focus on the phone itself. Here I have Twitter, but I don't have a public one. It's a private one because I only use it to scroll through my feed because of news and stuff like that. This next one, which I don't really use most of these apps, the recorder, FM radio, compass, calculate. This one, I actually use a calculator a lot. Like a while ago, I calculated something. And now this one, this is like my Chrome because I don't really have a Chrome since, again, Huawei doesn't support Google or Google doesn't support Huawei. I don't really know which one, but step. I'll watch the Google Apps in this one, Pedal Search, which is the same one as the one a while ago. This one. <laughs> For Breda to run for president. Yes, Paul. Yes, please. <laughs> Next, we have this. My clock, email, QR code generator. This one, I just knew this from... Because we use a QR code a lot, this is actually very nice. Next, we have Scan CapCut Camera. Scan is for scanning QR codes. CapCut is one of my favorite apps. I edit a lot here. I actually edit my videos here. If you guys don't know before, well, until this video, this video is going to be edited in Filmora, which is not sponsored. I just started using that. Now this, as you can see, there's a lot of videos because most of these are for my PE subject, like these ones. But anyway, let's go to the next folder where we have Leica, my Leica account. I'm not really that active there, but there. You won't really see my number of gems since ganito yung view na nakikita nyo. Pero ito yung mga pinapost ko. This is our cats, stuff like that. Then next, we have ride mode. I don't really use that, pero kasama yan sa Huawei. Facebook, share it, Huawei, Gcash, Gcash. I use this a lot. This is an e-wallet, number one e-wallet in the Philippines. I'm sorry if the color is ayan. Medyo mas same as sa phone. My notepad, which I use a lot. Member center, this is for Huawei, actually. Files, my files, 2048, which is probably the only game I have because I don't really use games. I don't really play games, actually. I have YouTube. This is another shortcut browser because I don't have YouTube. This takes a lot to load, but there we have that. Next, I have Google Meet, which I barely use already because I have Gspace. Later, I'll show you what that is. I have Aralinks e-reader. This is... What do you call this again? This is the ebook for my grade 11 subjects. But I'm already in grade 12. These are my old ebooks. I don't delete them just in case. I need something there. We have talk and text, go prepaid, optimize your phone clone, which we don't really use. Maybe you guys use this, but I don't. Next is my second page, which is where most of my favorite apps are on, like these ones. I don't put it in my folder because I use them a ton. Now this one, this one, is actually a widget of my to-do list. Start filming what's on my phone. This is a what's on my phone. The WOM. Yes, I started a while ago, like kanina pa. Now these ones are for school, all for school. And then this one, I have Snapchat. You guys will see me. This is our setup. Hi! And then, you, you can add me on Snapchat, but I'm not the most active there. See? My Snap score is 123. 123. I barely post there. Whoa! Then I have PixArt, which is the app that I use for editing my thumbnails. Yeah, I use PixArt a lot. Also, we have Pinterest, which is one of my OG apps, social media apps. I love this so much. I've saved 7,310 pins in total and I have like so many boards because I've been using this since I was like in 7th grade and now I'm in 12th grade. <laughs> it's Sofia Beacano. So that's that. Then we have Fossil Hybrid. This is an app that tracks my smartwatch because I have a Fossil smartwatch but I haven't been using it lately. But let me show you the ones that I've tracked. There were really like days when I'm very masipag sa pag record. I like this. There are days where I use the watch just for the purpose of me knowing how many steps. Well, eight steps. This isn't really realistic. Maybe I just use the watch for like a few minutes. And then this one. These are the times April to me that I use my watch a lot. Now, this is very useful and it's very nice. If you have a smartwatch that's fossil. 
Next, we have G Space. This one is what I've been talking about a while ago. Something that I don't like about this is the number of ads it has since I don't have the premium option. And I'm not planning to get it because I think it's not that worth it. But I only use this mainly for YouTube. Oh, see? There's always ads. I use this for my classroom because I can't use this Google Classroom since it's a Google app and Huawei doesn't allow Google apps. As I will break, that's why I have only two assigned. But usually, there's like five or more there. Next, we have Messenger VLU. This is a video editing app that I really love, but I haven't been using it lately because I recently moved to Filmora. So this is the last video that I edited here. You guys will see this as my short. This is still uploaded in my YouTube channel. It's like a one minute video of me explaining the Brilliant Skin skincare routine, if you want to see that. Next, we have Spotify, which I've been using a lot because of podcasts. I love podcasts, especially now I've been binging on this, Cuento Filipina by Cleo. I love how Cleo talks about so many different stuff that's so relatable. And also, Bianca, Bianca's podcast. The Hive. I think I'm going to listen to this. I'm trying to look for other podcasts to listen to. Na. Also, I have playlists here. I have only a few playlists, but I really like these songs. Next in the folders, these folders. I like these emojis so much. Now this one, Tessa. I have Tessa. This is an editing app which I saw because of TikTok. It has a lot of nice templates. Here you will see the template. I do not have Wi-Fi right now so I can't, probably can't show you. Kumu which is a live streaming app. I only use this to watch one specific live streamer. And interval timer, I use this for workouts. No Snapseed. This is my OG, OG favorite. One of the most basic and useful editing app for photos. Uh, next, I have Teams, Beauty Plus, Tips. Teams and Tips, I don't really use that. I didn't download that. It comes with the phone. Music is where all my downloaded music goes. I only have 75 songs. This is very pili lang. And usually, mga non-copyright music show because I used to edit my videos, YouTube videos here on my phone until I moved to Filmora nga ulit. And then we have Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram. I'm very active here since 2016. Yes, very active <laughs> actually. My handle is Sophia BTRZ. It's short for Beatrice. But that's it. We have stuff there. Lazada. Ooh! <laughs> I've been using this a lot because of this one, this specific feature. It's like Candy Crush, but it's called, uh, what do you call this? See, nakalimuta ko yung pangalan, pero lagi kong ginagamit. Anyway, I've been using the, no, no, mamaya ko na yan, tutuloy. <laughs> Next, we have this red rose folder for my red apps. We have Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, which I use when I'm reading a specific book and there's a lot of words that I don't know. I don't like turning my Wi-Fi on from time to time just because I want to search something on Google, which I don't have. I need to go to the browser pa, so I have this if I want to know what a specific word means. So, next we have Fonto, which is very useful. I use this for, let me just give an example. Like this one alone. This is a selfie at... <laughs> this this is a selfie that I took. If I want to put apps like this, like, hello, like this. This is very useful, actually. <laughs> Malipa spelling. But my favorite feature here, the fact that you can curve it like that. Next, we have App Gallery, which is the main downloader of Huawei. But I don't use this as much as I do on Petal Search because most apps that I want to download aren't here. Example is Instagram. Let's try that. Try it here pala, pero you need to use Petal Search to download it, not Huawei App Gallery directly. Basta may mga apps dito na wala talaga dito sa Huawei App Gallery. Although, this is said to be the third largest downloader next to Play Store and the App Store. Next, we have Shopback, which I've been using a lot also because kapag may binibili online, this is what I use to rebate my coins. Or there will be coins going back to this account if I use Shopback to buy online. You guys can use this and you can use my code or link in the description box when di ko pa kayo nagsistart para may additional kayong 100 pesos kapag nag-sign up kayo with my code. Now, ito yung mga stores na kapag binila nyo is pwede kayo mag-Shopback dito like mag-rebate like Nike, Uniqlo, Lazada, Shopee, and Watsons and many more. Next, we have Office, which is Microsoft Word, Office, and all the Microsoft Suite stuff. This is all for school. So next, Shopee! Alam niyo na yan, guys, if you're here in the Philippines or in Southeast Asia, this is a very common online shopping app. Next, we have in the black folder, which we have a lot of black folders. These apps, the ones that are not in the folder, these are my most used apps. Other than Snapchat, I just like Snapchat because it's purely yellow. Apps that I try to limit using, but TikTok, I need to put my face recognition on... Hi! <laughs> 
Hi Liza. On TikTok because it's just to limit ourselves using TikTok. Then we have YouTube Vans. This is just like YouTube, but there's no ads. I don't know how you will download this because this was downloaded by the staff in Huawei when we bought this phone because I don't have YouTube now. So she downloaded this instead, which is very nice because it doesn't have ads. Anyway, we have this. Next, we have Anum, which is what I use for my Instagram feed, but not that much anymore because I just like to put stuff here that I think I need to post or I want to post in the future. Next, we have Lightroom, which is an editing app that I used to use on my thumbnails until I wanted my thumbnails to look more realistic and natural, not too much filter. And this X icon changer. This is the shortcut changer or the icon changer that I use to make these two. Like, I just click an app, let's say this one, Beauty Plus, and then I click this, or I get a photo from my gallery, I'll just click this, and then that's Beauty Plus, right? And then I click OK. So that's it. Next, we have... What's this? I don't know what this is. I uh, know it's called actually. It's on, in Chinese. But I use this to edit. Let's use this for an example again. There's a lot of filters here that are like free and useful. See, I love this filter. I don't know what these words mean. But <laughs> they're very useful. So I use that. Next, we have the last page. My calendar. It's already November. I filmed this originally in November 8th, but since hindi ko natapos to, it's already November. So that's that. And I think that's the end of this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Always remember, be a little kinder. Bye!